Natural England, Wikipedia article audio. Natural England is a non-departmental public body in the United Kingdom sponsored by the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs. It is responsible for ensuring that England's natural environment, including its land, flora and fauna, freshwater and marine environments, geology and soils, are protected and improved. It also has a responsibility to help people enjoy, understand, and access the natural environment. Roles and Responsibilities History Activities State of the Natural Environment Green Exercise Green Infrastructure Legal Challenge Natural England focuses its activities and resources on four strategic outcomes. As a non-departmental public body, Natural England is independent of government. However, the Secretary of State for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs has the legal power to issue guidance to Natural England on various matters, a constraint that was not placed on its predecessor NDPBs. Its powers include defining ancient woodlands, awarding grants, designating areas of outstanding natural beauty and sites of special scientific interest, managing certain national nature reserves, overseeing access to open country and other recreation rights, and enforcing the associated regulations. It is also responsible for the administration of numerous grant schemes and frameworks that finance the development and conservation of the natural environment, for example environmental stewardship, the countryside stewardship scheme, environmentally sensitive areas, and the access to nature scheme. It has been severely criticized recently for ignoring scientific data and granting extended Badger Coal licenses to DIFRA. Natural England's latest corporate plan sets out its goals and detailed objectives. It is responsible for the delivery of some of DIFRA's public service agreements. Natural England takes its finance, human resources, and estates services from the DIFRA Shared Services Organization. Information technology services are outsourced to IBM. Natural England was established on October 1, 2006 by the Natural Environment and Rural Communities Act 2006 which implemented the recommendations of a rural review by the Baron Haskins of Skidby. It was formed by the amalgamation of three founder bodies. It received the powers of the founder bodies. Natural England joined the 1010 project in 2009 in a bid to reduce its own carbon footprint. One year later they announced that they had reduced their carbon emissions by 13%. In 2008, Sir Martin Doughty, the chairman of Natural England, warned the Prime Minister of the potential danger of genetically modified crops. However, in 2012, Poole Christensen, CBE, the next chairman of Natural England, said that Middle England should embrace new technologies like GM crops as long as there were adequate testing and safeguards. In May 2008, Natural England published a report, State of the Natural Environment, which brought together statistics and facts about England's environment. The report was intended to be used by environmental organizations as a benchmark and source for policy development. It complements reports on different topics produced by other organizations. Natural England funded eight pilot green exercise projects through local regional partnerships. These projects increased levels of physical activity and people's connections to their local green spaces. However, it was not clear whether these projects really changed people's long-term attitudes. 
Natural England is promoting the concept of green infrastructure as a way to deliver a wide range of benefits for people and the natural environment together. It believes that green infrastructure should be delivered via the spatial planning system, as an integral part of new development everywhere, and also form a key part of proposals to regenerate existing urban areas. Natural England is working with partners in the growth areas, growth points, and proposed eco-towns to prepare and implement green infrastructure strategies and demonstrate good practice on the ground. Natural England is one of the steering group partners of Neighborhoods Green, a green infrastructure partnership initiative which works with social landlords and housing associations to highlight the importance of, and raise the overall quality of, design and management for open and green space in social housing. Natural England was challenged in High Court in 2006 by Peter Boggies a pensioner who protected his house from erosion. Natural England claimed that as the site of Boggies's house, at Easton Bavance north of Southwold on the Suffolk coast was a site of special scientific interest, the protection went against the scientific community's interests. Natural England lost the case in 2009, when Mr Justice Blair, the brother of the former Prime Minister, ruled that Mr. Boggy's human predicament was more important than the site's SSSI status. Natural England won the subsequent appeal in October 2009. A healthy natural environment, enjoyment of the natural environment, sustainable use of the natural environment, a secure environmental future. Countryside Agency, the Landscape, Access and Recreation Elements, English Nature, Rural Development Service, the Environmental Land Management Functions of Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs. On Environmental Facts and Figures, by the Environment Agency, on Heritage Counts, by the English Heritage, on the State of the UK's Birds, by the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds, on the State of Britain's Butterflies, by the Butterfly Conservation.